Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we'll understand how to run pooled regression analysis in panel data. The estimation of the panel data regression model depends on the assumptions we make about the intercept, the slope coefficients, and the error terms. In general, the simple linear panel data models can be estimated using three different methods. One, with a common constant. Two, allowing for fixed effects. Three, allowing for the random effects. The common constant method, also called the pooled OLS method, estimates a common constant alpha for all the cross sections. Common constant for countries if you have countries as a cross sections. Practically, the common constant method implies that there are no differences between the estimated cross sections and, is, and it is useful under the hypothesis that the data set is priori homogeneous. Example, we have a sample of only high income countries or EU, that is European only countries. Let's take an example. In the first column, we are having student, second, test. Three types of tests are there, one, two, three, their study time and test grade. In the above example, we want to see the effect of study time on test grade, ignoring the test and the student. The OLS model, which will be considered here is y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus error term. So the test grade is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 into the study time plus epsilon that is an error term. Now let's uh, extend this example further. We want to see the effect of student also. So we will create the dummies for the student. Remember, the number of dummies will be equal to the number of students minus 1. This we do this to avoid the dummy variable trap. So in the first column, student, test, study time, test grade. Now here we want to create the dummy for Joe. Dummies are created, are created in such a way that the presence of Joe is indicated by 1, 1, 1. So here Joe is present and its absence is indicated by 0, 0, 0. Now let's create a dummy for Sue. 1, 1, 1 and the remaining places it will be 0, 0, 0. Similarly, we will create the dummy for mark also. So here 1, 1, 1 and at the rest of the places 0, 0, 0. We will not create the dummy for antenna because it will be captured by the constant term. So uh, I repeat, the number of dummies is equal to the number of students minus 1. So here we consider the intelligence of students into the consideration by using the fixed effects models. We have not considered antenna as it will become the reference mark or it will be captured by the constant. Fixed effect model. Y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus fi plus epsilon. So the test grade is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 into the study time plus beta 2 into jo, beta 3 into mark plus beta 4 into su, shu. Antonio will not appear here as it will be captured by the constant. Let's ext extend this example and now we will create the dummies for the test also. Student, test, study time, test grade. Joe, Shu, Mark, all the three dummies have appeared. Now there are three tests. Can anybody guess how many dummies will be there? Yes, there will be two dummies. The number of tests minus one, so two dummies. So the presence of test two will be indicated by one and its absence will be indicated by zero. So here test 2 is present 1, 1, 1, 1 and at uh, rest places it will be 0, 0. Test 3 it will be indicated by 1, 1, 1 and at the rest of the places it will be indicated by 0. So in this model we also consider time effects that is a type of the test. We have not considered test 1 as it will become the reference mark. So the time effects model y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus fi. fi is the uh, effects of the student and tj is the effect of the test that is time also I am considering plus the error term. So the test grade is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 into the study time plus beta 2 jo plus beta 3 mark plus beta 4 su plus beta 5 test 2 beta 6 test 3 plus the epsilon that is an error term. Now the test 1 will be captured by the constant. Assumptions of pooled OLS. It assumes that the regression coefficients are same for all cross sections and time periods. 
regressions are regressors are non stochastic that is errors are not correlated with the explanatory variables that is the covariance is zero error term error term vit is independently identically distributed with the mean zero and the constant variance sigma uh, sigma square v the possibilities of the measure measurement which could be assume that the intercept and the slope co uh, coefficients are constant across time and space and the error term captures differences over the time and individual cross sections units it's a pull do ls next the slope coefficient uh, coefficients are constant but the intercept varies over the individuals the slope coefficients are constant but the intercept varies over individuals and times all coefficients vary over individuals fixed effects model this all are fixed effects models the last one all coefficients that is the intercept as well as the slope coefficients vary over individuals and time now when we pass a common line from all these points it's known as a pooled ols all intercepts same all slopes same now let's understand the fixed effects model fixed effects all intercepts different one two three based on time or cross sections invariant all slopes are same fixed effects mean intercept considered of all cross sections slopes are different in this fixed effects means different one two three slopes are different so we go for panel data regression or fixed effects or random effects that is decided by the test Null hypothesis is panel OLS is appropriate rather than fixed effects or random effects model. Or in other words, no effect of different cross sections on intercept. So for this, we will run Bruce Pagan test. So when we are having panel data, first of all, we run the pool test to decide. So we go for pooled OLS or the fixed effects and random effects. Null, null is Pulled OLS is stable, alternative pulled OLS is not stable. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in R. So, the first thing is we will have to import the data set, environment, import the data set. The name of the data set is panel data. Press import. Now, let's understand the data. So this data consists of year, firm, profit, investment, and capital. So here, uh, in the first column, we are having time, and here, the firm. So this is cross-section, and this is the time effects. So let's go in the R script. We'll attach the panel data first, which is the name of the data set. Now to run the panel data, uh, rather pulled regression, it is necessary we install three packages, LM test, T series and PLM. So go in tools, install packages, make sure that, that your internet connection is on. LM test, press here, install it. After that, install T series, press here, install. After that, PLM. Press here and install it. Then you will have to activate its library. Now you will have to give the effect of panel data. Well, you will have to create a panel data frame. So p data is equal to p data dot frame. Specify the name of the data set. Panel data index is your uh, cross section as well as the time. So index is equal to c firm. You later will have to write down firm and year. Now run this and P data. So now this is your panel data. I will have to run the test. That should be go for pulled regression or fixed effects or random effects. What is our null hypothesis? The hypothesis is the same coefficients apply to in each individual. Pulled OLS is stable. That is our null. Alternative is the same coefficient do not apply to it each individual. Pull OLS is not stable. The command line for this is pull test investment. 
is our dependent variable tilde profit plus capital data is now your p data this one model is within run it and you got the p value this p value is less than 0 0.05 now we will have to do the interpretation let me expand this as the p value is less than 0 0.05 so we reject null hypothesis and can say that the same coefficients do not apply to each individual so we can we can now go for fixed effects or random effects model pulled ols is pulled you cannot run pulled ols you will have to go for fixed effects or random effects model but for understanding purpose we will proceed further just for understanding purpose pulled uh, pulled method is a simple ols method here we assume that there is no heterogeneity in the data see let's understand if you had got this p value more than 0 0.05 definitely you had uh, you had gone for pulled method okay but as it is at present less than 0 0.05 you should uh, according to the according to the theory you should go for fixed effects and random effects but for learning purpose we are running the pulled method okay let's proceed further pulled method is equal to plm investment tilde profit plus capital data is p data model is pulling run and the summary of the pulled method so we got the estimates of profit estimates of capital now see this p value so any coefficient which is significant it is indicated by one star two star and three star here the p value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore we can say that the capital is not significantly contributing towards the investment now let's write the interpretation as the p value of profit this one is less than why it is less than because it is e to the power minus 12 is less than 0 0.05 so we can say that the profit significantly affects investment of the firm increase in one unit of profit increases investment by 4.17 unit and that is applicable for all the firms and time period because we have considered the pooled uh, regression as it is a pooled regression method let's do the interpretation of the capital as the p-value of the capital is more than 0 0.05, so we can say that the capital is insignificant and does not contribute in investment. So this is how you can run pull, uh, pull regression analysis in R. For more videos on econometrics using R, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to uh, like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.